beautiful thing about words, the way you can take two completely separate concepts and make them into one thing. Uh, descriptive of my personal life and of my life in this band. And it's the process of being touched by something, and in this case, perhaps it's the winds from California. And it turns out to be like probably our most popular song ever. In retrospect, Californication came out at a crucial moment for the Red Hot Chili Peppers. The Red Hot Chili Peppers Blood Sugar Sex Magic is an ultimate album. The album took a leap from their previous work and catapulted them skywards. But the band fell to a low point following the sudden departure of guitarist Jean Frusciante in 1992. We're in Japan, he leaves, and and it was so exhausting and stressful and everything. You know, the band itself, it was really stressful for me at the time. I ended up with Dave and made another record. And it just stopped being a, a productive and fun and creative experience for everybody. And John went down as far as he could, and then, you know, just the whisper of a ghost saying, hey, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gone yet. And we're like, okay, let's do this. You know, the minute we got together like this again, it just became we're doing it because we love it. This resulted in Californication, the band's most successful record to date, and its title track which has recently passed 1 billion views on YouTube. Yet the song almost never got made. This is the story of... A few, a few important songs have come just from the vocals, you know, like Under the Bridge or Californication started off with just me singing and nothing else, and they added the instruments. But most of the time, they jam and they find a groove or some chord changes that, that I want to jump on. So he had the words for this song and the melody, and he would sing it to us. Psychic spies from China try to steal your mind's elation And little girls from Sweden dream of silver screen quotation And if you want these kind of dreams, it's Californication it's possible that the initial melody Anthony had was slightly different based on this demo version. We tried to come up with music for it, and we struggled to find the right feeling and the right vibe and the right musical, supporting musical thing. Producer Rick Rubin urged the band not to give up on the song. He's like, I know there's a song in there somewhere. He says, we got to figure this out. Is it, it, there's a song in there, but we don't have it yet. What, I was laying there listening to The Cure. Anthony had had this vocal idea that had been swimming around that I couldn't figure out what to put behind it for the chords. And um, I was listening to this song, I'm spacing out on what it's called, but, but if you hear it, it, it sounds just like uh, Californication. Dun, 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 dun. different notes but it's the same rhythm and it's the same kind of feeling and John came in one day when we were getting ready to cut the record and he just had just the simple chords he played it and we went ah and we recorded the song really quickly in the music video the band members appear in a video game setting it was directed by Jonathan and Valerie who also worked on several other Chili Peppers videos and later directed feature films as well the premise of the game was fairly simple each member of the band starts in a different part of California, and their goal is to hook up in Los Angeles. The video took inspiration from various video games. There was this one game, Crazy Taxi. That, that was the biggest inspiration. This taxi just drives around and able, you know, was able to go up on sidewalks and run over people. The directors discussed with each band member to incorporate parts of their personalities into the video clip. We all had to contribute different elements of our personality to kind of make this together. 
and that's that's why you, you have me kind of swimming in the ocean with the sharks and here's him being nature guy and want to save the trees and going through the woods and stuff and john really loves da vinci a lot they show you know the mona lisa there then john's in a da vinci flying contraption how chad ended up on a snowboard i'll never know because i don't i don't think he ever has been on a snowboard i've never snowboarded in my life during Flea's gameplay, there's an interesting easter egg with a link to other songs from later records. That girl that I run into with a big tattoo on her belly, that's from a picture that Anthony had of a girl. I started writing, I was like, oh my god, this is about the girl that was in By The Way, mm -hmm. Danny. And then I realized that Danny in By The Way was about the girl in Californication, the teenage bride with the baby inside. There are also many references to pop culture, both in the lyrics and the music video. Space may be the final frontier, but it's made in a Hollywood basement. In Cobain, can you hear the sphere singing songs off station to station? And Alderaan's not far away, it's Californication. We asked him what he wanted on the license plate, and he loved the Germs, this punk band from LA. So he just put, you know, put Germs on there. Initially, game studio Naughty Dog were approached to create the video using the Crash Bandicoot engine. The idea was dropped because the cost and delay were too big. Funnily enough, one of the animators who ended up working on the video was Josh. Wait, not that Josh. Yeah, this one. We later ended up working at Naughty Dog for over 20 years. We knew that the whole gaming world was going to change with the next generation of video games. And at the time, PlayStation 2 was not available in America, so we were able to get a gray market version from Japan. We showed them all these new Japanese games that completely raised the bar in terms of realism and, and detail. We each had to go to some place in Beverly Hills where the doctors take the pictures of your head from every possible angle so they can give that to the computer people so they can make the caricature of you. Getting these, you know, video game versions of the band was the hardest, most stressful. I just remember going, that doesn't look anything like Flea. Oh God, they're just gonna think, you know, they look like freaks. <laughs> and they didn't even make any comments on how they looked really. With only four weeks to animate the whole thing, it was a challenging project, but the results and open world concept were really impressive for that time. I remember watching it with my two brothers and we were like, it would be so cool if games could have graphics and gameplay like that. Of course, just one year later GTA 3 came out with a similar setting, and graphics have reached levels we couldn't imagine back then. band had a specific request for the video, to include themes of artificiality and convey their pro-environment message. The ocean is one of the most amazing things in the entire universe, let alone on this planet. When the UFOs come down, they see our oceans, they go, God, these guys are lucky, look at these oceans they have with all these creatures, and these dolphins, and these whales, and these sharks, and these fish, and these octopuses, and everyone's hugging each other and swimming through this liquid space atmosphere down there in the ocean, and they're having a good time, and the people get to go swimming and surfing, and and, and recreation and sailboating and it's just beautiful out here and the idea that, that some guy in an office somewhere sitting behind his desk saying how can I make a few more million dollars with my paper mill this year well maybe if I cut the cost and I pollute a little more into the ocean I could I could make some bigger profits and they destroy this beautiful planet that we are blessed with. In Californication this is seen with the earthquake, the ocean, the flowers but also the enemies who are ruining nature. At the time, since I quit, and then me and Flea, or me and Anthony, we never really discussed the reasons why. They would just ask me why, and I just said, I have to. You know? I guess this is the first time in a video that I ever showed my arms, since my arms have been scarred, because my arms are, are pretty badly scarred from abscesses, which came from shooting huge amounts of drugs the results could have been a lot worse, so I'm happy to have the scars from a period of my life where I was living destructively, just as a, as a sign of what I've been through and uh, 
these days I, I'm you know, being healthy and taking care of my body. Destruction leads to a very rough road, but it also breeds creation. Destruction leads to a very rough road, but it also breeds, breeds creation. Does it apply to you? To the papers, I mean? To the papers? Yeah. Yeah, it applies to us, for sure. Mm -hmm. For sure. I think it applies to everything in the universe, but specifically that, to me, was uh, descriptive of, of, of my personal life and of my life in this band. It can also be applied to the music video, which almost never became the one we know today. For Californication, we argued for literally weeks trying to come up with the right idea. And we finally called the management and said, you know what? We don't, it's not coming together. We don't have an idea that we both like, and it's just, we, we may just have to bow out. Mark Ryder, who works with the band, came back and said, listen, just give it one last try. And somehow, we came up with the idea of a video game. As well as the song itself, which the band almost dropped before finding the right chords. We worked on it. And like, no, it's just not coming together. And it was almost like, oh, well, we're not gonna, we're not gonna get that one. But, you know, John came in that one day with the chords and it all came together. It almost, almost wasn't. It's a lesson in perseverance, really. Don't give up on, if it's, you know, you think if there's something in there, you just have to stay at it. 